Hello everyone, my name is Michael Krulik, Video Product Evangelist for Avid, and I'm here to show you what's new with Avid Media Composer 2019.9, including some new design improvements to allow for better control and visual representation in your timeline, enhanced navigation tools including fast access to your bins, and even an improved way to bring in your AAF sequences with detailed reports upon import. The first thing I want to point out with the new version are some organizational tools. And a lot of that has to do with how you color code your media, your bins, uh, and you know organize your projects. Now, projects, if you did download version 2019.6, the new introduction of the new UI, you may know that we did get rid of the project window to introduce the bin container. The bin container, of course, containing your bins, but I'm happy to tell you that with version 2019.9, we brought back the project window. Yes, the project window, Command 9 or Control 9 to bring it up on your Media Composer, actually brings up a sidebar, which is just your bins. You can dock that because you know the new UI does allow you to dock your tools and your panels. And now when you double click, it opens up the bin in a tab, or I could hold down a modifier and that bin would float. You'll also notice that the bin has no color right now. Well, you can go in and color code your bins. We do have the preset colors right here, but also I want to point out the new color picker. The new color picker lets you choose from the color wheel a color rather than the preset colors that we gave you before. So you can choose different tones, different levels. We'll go ahead and choose about an orange here. But the nice thing also is that color goes into the tab as well. Now that color also can be defined in your clip. So we can go in and color code your clips. Here we have again the default colors. Notice when I hover over these colors, we give you the RGB value of that color. And again, I could go into my color picker and choose a brand new color for that clip. Now the colors that you pick here can be defined in the bin clip color, your timeline local clip color, the timeline track color, your bin background, and even your bin container sidebar. So all of those can use the new color picker. Also to add to your organizational tools, we know that you do have a lot of information when you are in text view of your clips. And you can scroll back and forth. But we've introduced this new bin left lock option. And what that does is that lets you choose where you want to lock all the information to the left side of your bin. So I now set everything to the right of my columns here. I now can move and it's going to leave the information to the left side. If we go ahead and move that down here, you'll see that it actually changes there as well. Now as we go and look at better navigation through Media Composer 2019.9, again I showed you being able to bring up the project sidebar. We do have the sidebar which is inside of your bin as well if you choose to view your bins that way. But you can also bring up the bin that you are viewing. If we go in and decide, well I'd like to see where the music bin is, if I right click and select show bin in my sidebar, it actually shows me where the bin is in the sidebar. If you have lots of bins, this is a great way to easily access or see the bin that you have opened or the bin that you want to access. Now you've also improved the interface design and layout of Media Composer 2019.9. Most importantly are your solo and mute buttons in the timeline. The solo and mute buttons are now side by side rather than on top of each other. This actually gives you easier access to the solo and mute. It also opens up the video monitoring selection for your video tracks. If you take a look at the clips in my timeline here, they do range from different light and dark values. Now if we take a look at the yellow clip, we can hardly see what the name of that clip is. Now if we do go to the timeline settings, you have several selections. The white timeline text, the black timeline text, which of course turns all of the text black, but now if I have a darker clip, it's hard to see what the name of the clip is there. So we've just introduced white and black timeline text. That automatically sets the contrast with the timeline clip text depending on if it's a lighter or darker clip. So you'll see now it's a mix of black and white text depending on the color of the clip. 
Customizing is very important in Media Composer, being able to customize your keyboard and your layout. And what you'll notice is we've actually added buttons that allow you to customize more on your timeline. So in the command palette, if I want to add more buttons to the timeline here, we now have more buttons we can easily add and custom on top of the timeline. We've also gone in and changed the way in your selection tools in the timeline. If I choose in and out, you'll see that by default, my in and out selection is this light gray. Well, with the brand new version of Media Composer, if we go to the fast menu in the timeline, I can choose my mark in and out selection to be the default color, or I can go into the color picker and choose a new color for that range. Again, marking in and out, it's showing me my new color. This also is something that you can select by the segment selections. So choosing the default color or choosing a custom color, now we'll go in and say, let's, uh, we'll choose a nice blue right here. So if I'm now in my segment tools, you'll see that my selections are now my new custom colors right there. Don't forget a little tip and trick. If you right click in your timeline, we can go in and select by source clip color, no source clip color, local clip color, and we can go in and create sequences based on those selections. So little tip and trick, you've been able to do this for a while. So importing an AAF into MIDI Composer has been great. So if I go ahead and say new bin, I want to go to import and import some media. I can go ahead and choose an AAF file from my desktop, from my Nexus workspace, and it brings in the sequence and all of the clips associated with that. But uh, there is some information that we actually would like to see with that AAF as well. So if I go to settings and under user, I want to go to import. We now have an option under the OMFI slash AAF tab to pop up a sequence report when you import the AAF. Now the nice thing about this is the report can be a comma separated file or a generic text file, but you can also choose when it pops up to show things like your effect summary, effect location, you know, add markers at effect location. It can actually give you a nice identifier to where the effects are. I'm including clip summary, including source summary. So I'm going to leave that selected. Now when I go into import, it lets me choose the sequence report just call it new AAF and it brings up the sequence report. The sequence report giving me all the information like how many effects are in there. We have some pan effects. If any third-party effects were brought in there. Again a nice way to see all of this information so if I need to go back in and match any of the effects or add any effects that I may not have currently on my system, I can go ahead and see that. So a real nice workflow with importing AAF files back into Media Composer. And just to wrap things up, here is a complete list of what's new in Avid Media Composer 2019.9. By the way, this list can always be downloaded from our online documentation. And if you don't have Avid Media Composer and want to give it a try, go to our website and download a 30-day free trial of the complete version of software. Thank you so much for your time and happy editing.